alert. Play around channels. This is an exclusive. How you like that? Now listening in to ST Radio Live. Yeah, 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 man. You already know what it is. It's your boy Juice the MC. I'm here with the wonderful. Bonnie Godiva, you already know. Why yo stand up? <laughs> Why yo stand up? Why yo? So what's going on, Bonnie? I haven't seen you in a minute, man. What you been up to? No, I've been chilling, moved out to ATL, uh, coming back and forth between there and here, making some, you know, business moves, music wise, film wise, trying to get my name on everything, take over the world. You already know. You love us, man. It's, <laughs> it's crazy. I'm man. always back. I'm always back, though. That's what it is. So for the people who don't know you, you know what I mean? Tell a little people about yourself. You know what I mean? Tell people a little bit about yourself. Um, I am a writer. I always tell people that I don't categorize myself as a battle rapper. I'm a writer. I write everything there mm-hmm. is to write. Um, Music is just one aspect, but I am a battle rapper. I am an artist, Uh, and I love what I do, and I'm known for my bars, my wordplay, and you know doing what i do so how long you been doing this um as far as rap i started when i was around 16 17 was my first time trying it i've only really really been into it for like the past three years i would say and i started battle rapping as a hobby uh i was more spoken word i never i didn't really listen to rap growing up i listened to the soul i listened to r&b mm-hmm. i listened to gospel my mom sang gospel i listened to reggae my dad sung, sings reggae so uh, I Lord didn't, really get, yeah, definitely. <laughs> My friends call him Buffalo Soldier, but uh, I oh, didn't. Uh, <laughs> I didn't grow up um, listening to rap, so it was very late blooming to me. My first actual rap song, really listening to, was Annie Up. Okay, so uh, so that's the one that made you want to get get yeah, to. Yeah, I heard Remy on it, and I was like, "Yo, okay. it's dope." I, you know, I knew of female rappers, but I never really was into it until I heard that track. Okay, okay. So what? So what sparked your interest in battle rap? Like, which one? Which you want? Like, why you wanted to get into that field? It really, really was just a whim hobby. Like, I I used to do street ciphers out on the street. You know, with some of the dudes that I know in the neighborhood. I was a big time boy, so I knew everybody where I'm from. Okay, and uh. You know, I, I did cipher, like street ciphers and then this concept of the league came around and I had watched Smack, but I only really remember, you know, niggas in the hallway spitting 16s, Joel Santana. I don't really, I didn't really remember the, the I must have missed out on the battle rap part of it. Yeah. But uh, somebody came up to me one day, he's like, yo, this Dollar Bill, he battles too. Okay, um, okay. He's live, you know, he had his live loop league. He's like, yo, you know, you ever try battling? I'm like, nah, what, the, what, the, what for? And he's telling me, you know, you get paid, you could do this, you could do that. And there's different spotlights, different platforms, so... I had him set me up one. The girl didn't show up on his league. And then he was like, you ever heard wow. of Queen of the Ring? I'm like, nah, what's that? So he's like, go check it out. I'm going to set you a sparring session. And then after that, I just kept doing it. That's what it is. So battle rap aside, like, um, you know, this industry is an up and down industry. Mm-hmm. Are you still looking for a deal or you just trying to just stick with the battle rap and just get your name known more? To be honest, I research everything I do before I get into it. So I'm not going to say that I... I'm not going to say that I'm looking for a deal. If the right one finds me, I would definitely consider it. But being how it is now, with you know, 360 deals and all that other stuff, like mm-hmm. I don't really, if I could get independent and, you know, if I could stay, it seems like independent is the way to go right now. As long as you have your distribution deals and all that and you have the money to, you know, you can raise the money to fund yourself, I would rather be independent with the things that I do. So you definitely one of them, one of the more I say more popping girls out of the Queen of the Ring, mm-hmm. as far as popularity wise. Like, what do you think of the girls who who would say you're not top tier or you're not the elite? People gonna say what they want to say, but uh, if you can't get on and have never been on and never been to places I've been doing it, then you really your opinion doesn't matter to me. Yeah, you move around. So I noticed you got a, a big battle coming up. You mm-hmm. know. December 6th, right? Am mm-hmm. I correct? Mm-hmm. You know? Um, you on that Cassidy and um, Disaster card. Mm-hmm. You know? Who you got? Um, I got official. Okay, um, okay. He's been supposed to battle, so I, I had to bring it to a stage that I felt. And I feel like we waiting did it justice because this is a card that you would want to be yeah, on. Of course. So Hell I yeah. feel like even though that opportunity was missed, I, you know, it was definitely made up for with this card because this is going to be crazy. And I feel like the platform is worth this battle. Yeah. So she's known, crazy. she's known for getting crazy, but I, I mm-hmm. already know you're going to get crazy too. <laughs> you already know that. Uh, that's I what got it to, is. I got to. So like before all your battles, are you nervous at any point or? Um, I stopped being nervous a long time ago. Okay. Uh, I've done it so much now, I don't get nervous. Mm-hmm. I might take a little sip to, like, you know, make sure I'm calm, but I'm good. 
I'm good. So that's your usual. Little shot of Patron, and I'm good. (laughs) Okay, so that's your usual, you know, remedy and everything like that. So what's your mind state, like, when you're, like, writing? What state do you have to be in? Do you, you, are you one of them girls that write, like, a week before, or you write? I've been that. I have been that. I can't lie. I had battles every, every, it felt like every month at one point, and I just, I would finish, like, the week before. Misfit, I finished that Tuesday, and I battled her on Saturday. Wow. So, okay. I'm used to it now. Like the more memory, the more you practice with your memory, the more the faster you can do it. The faster, so yeah. So I've definitely done it, but I try to give myself at least a month. Do you feel your your performance is better when you write close so close to your battle, or do you feel like when you prep a little bit ahead? When I prep, it's definitely better. Okay. Okay. So what do you um like after this? What do you got lined up after the December six card? Well, I don't have anything after December six lined up. Uh, it's the last battle I took. I have some a couple possibilities coming up. Um, I will possibly, and this is an exclusive because I haven't even talked about it. Um, exclusive. I will uh, be battling QP. Oh shit! Okay. So not clean paper, quantum physics. Quantum um, physics. Okay. I will be battling him. I will be over at A Hat. Uh, I will Salute be doing. Salute Hat. Mm-hmm, and I will be doing some uh, big other King of the Dot events. That's okay. all that I have in the circuit but before that before december 6th i do have a battle at don't flop i have enigma over in london so that's november 15th that's coming up okay okay so, can't uh, wait for that yeah i'm excited to go over there that's my first time over there okay so okay I'm london <laughs> that's what it is so um so the battle rap so you really promising with this battle rap thing mm-hmm. like you're really trying to you know take it to the next level i see definitely you know now, what are, you, what are your thoughts on, like, the industry and all them type of people getting into this now, you know? Like, you think they're pump faking or do you think they really trying to, like, fuck with this battle rap shit? I think they are interested in trying to use the platform to help their... Certain people will try to use it to, you know, help their career a little bit, too. Like, Cassidy hasn't really been doing too much music-wise. Yeah. So if you can get a really good check out of Battling and you're, and you're accustomed to the life and you know it, why not do why it? Why not? Yeah. Definitely. I yeah. want to see, like, Beanie. Beanie, he's not doing nothing right yeah. now. Beanie, he's, he's I think, beef. still locked up. Oh, yeah. Damn, he's still locked up? I think up? he's still Shit. locked up. If I'm get not out. mistaken. But you when know? he get out, when you get out, Beanie, you need to battle. Okay, okay. So you want to see a lot more yeah. of the industry cats battle. Of course. What do you think about that Drake and Mook thing that's supposed to be going down think, or a surprise, you know, maybe? I, I think that would be interesting. I think Drake is one that could hold his own. Like, I've heard him freestyle, so I don't think, you know, he'll get killed. I really don't, I don't think know how his performance battle. would be, though. That's the only thing. I don't think it would be a good battle. They put up uh, uh, some footage of him freestyling with his man in the kitchen, and it didn't look too good to me. Well, I, don't I, I don't know. I can't, you know, <laughs> I can't speak for everybody. I, I heard some dope freestyle, you know, stuff. So okay. I don't know. I guess I think he'd be good. I think he'd be good at it, though. I think he so. watches it enough. I just don't know how his performance would be. Like Joe Buttons, I think he's great, but his performance was off. Okay. He raps okay. like he's on a beat. I don't think Drake would rap like he's on a beat, but I don't think he'd have the performance bit down. Like, down pack. Okay, yeah. cool. I put up a, um, a post, and it was a Rex, and... He he used some of his bars against Shotgun Shook and the Charlie Clips battle. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you peeped that clip. I did see it. I don't know if I seen yours though, but yeah. I did see a couple people talking about it in a post. Yeah. Well, what do you think of that? And he's the one that you know, you know, speaks talks the most shit. Yeah. You know? I, I think it's disrespectful because, especially when you're getting paid the type of money they get paid. Yeah. You need to make sure that you have your shit. Like you need to be yeah. on top of your shit. So yeah. not even on top. At least don't use the same. Don't get paid for the same thing twice. That's kind of disrespectful. So I don't. I don't. I don't like that aspect at all. I understand now. If you, there's been points where it's like, yo, I'm gonna either choke or say an old bar real quick and get myself together. Yeah, yeah. I'd rather that. Yeah, I can yeah. understand that. Absolutely. Because I'd rather that than choking. But to use your whole rounds or whole parts, I don't like. That's that. That's disrespectful to the culture. It's very disrespectful, paying. you know. And you know, I, I fucks with Rex. You know what I mean on the battle tip shit. But you know, I thought it was real corny. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean. I, I pulled up an old interview that I seen with him and um Mook, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Yo, y'all motherfucking industry niggas can't come over here making a mockery of this, this, yeah, that, and, and the third. Making a mockery, of <laughs> and then you sitting up there spitting like two, <laughs> two of the same verses in two separate battles. Exactly." 
You and and definitely mean? rest in peace to his nephew. I don't know the yeah, extent rest in of that peace. situation. You know? I really don't. I don't know if that's why. Yeah, but, yeah. But uh, you never want to, you know, yeah. you never want to, um, you know, throw that in the air or put that in the air. Rest in peace to his nephew mm-hmm, and all definitely. that. But don't, you know, I'd rather you not even do the shit, to be yeah. honest with you. You know, well, you just some mixtape shit if you had to. I mean, but. who's to say that 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 verse both times wasn't a mixtape yeah, verse? Been, been. You never know, but you know, this is about Bonnie. You know, this ain't about Rex. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. So I don't know. Um, you got a uh, do you got a birthday coming up? What is your birthday? No, my birthday just passed. I'm okay. old as hell. Happy now. belated. Thank you. October fifteen. I'm a Libra. Uh, Okay, okay. You don't want to say your age. Or Libras the are the best. You don't want to say Let's your age. Let's just say I'm um twenty in in uh industry years. Oh shit. <laughs> nah, I just turned twenty. Thirty's the new twenty. I just turned twenty five. So. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I could dig it. I could dig it. Well, you know, this has been a wonderful, wonderful <laughs> interview. Thank, uh, thank you. Thank you. You know, it's STM Radio Live. And we out of here. You already know I'll be back. So thanks for the love. Yeah, shout out to your Twitter <laughs> and everything like that. Oh, yeah, at Bonnie Godiva, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, it's all the same. Shout out to YTG Gang. Shout out to Queen of the Ring, King of the Dot, and every single person that supports me in the world. Like, I appreciate y'all. Why, yo, stand up. Of course. Hey. Now on four.